Welcome to the SB100 sideboard assembly video. First of all, make sure you have all the correct parts as stated in the assembly guide. To start building your sideboard, attach panel 1 to the base of panel 2 with the two bolts and washers labelled 17 and 18. Then, screw the four screws labelled 14 into panel 9 and attach panel 9 to the end of panel 1 with the bolts labelled 14. This will leave you with a capitan H shape. Next, screw the screws labelled 14 into the rear panels 4, 5 and 6. Then, fix these rear panels to the back of the unit, again using bolts 14. Finally, slide the two panels 7 into the slots provided to complete the main back of the unit. It's now time to fit the side panels labelled 8. Screw screws 14 in place and add the wooden dowels labelled 19 in the assembly guide. Once all of these are in place, attach the side panels to the main unit with the bolts labelled 14. After attaching both sides, you should have the main frame for your unit, minus the top. You now need to attach part 23, the LED strip to the underside of the top panel 3 using the adhesive side and secure it with the plastic clips 24 and screws 22. Make sure the surface is clean and stick the LEDs between the screw holes on the top panel. Then simply screw the plastic clips in place as seen here. Now it's time to attach the top panel 3 to the main frame. As with the side, screw all the screws 14 in place. We have found that before attaching the top, it's a good idea to fix the plastic cable grommet 26 into position as demonstrated here. Finally, it's time to attach the top. Put it in place and feed the cable from the LED through the grommet. Then secure the top with the bolts labelled 14 and the main outer frame is complete. The next step is to screw the 8 bolt 25s in place to act as support mounts for the internal shelves. Then you can simply slide the shelves in place.
The final section before building the doors is to attach the front panels 10 and 11 using screws and bolts 14. First, insert the wooden dowels 19 into the end of the two panels labelled 10 and place panel 11 on top, forming a goalpost type shape. Then it's time to screw the number 14 screws into this piece. Once all the screws are in place, fix the front panels to the unit using bolts 14 and you're nearly done. The last major part is to attach the doors. First, fit the four hinges labelled 20 to the two doors using screws number 21. Once all are in place, it's time to attach the doors to the main unit, again with screws 21. They are screwed onto the inside of the front face panels. Attach all four hinges and the unit is now nearly complete. To finish off the construction of the sideboard, you simply attach the feet 16 to the base of the unit using the screws labelled 15. There's one in the centre and one in each corner. Now it's a case of simply attaching the power adapter 23 to the LEDs and then screwing it to the rear of the unit using screw 22. The LED strip easily slots into the adapter, although be sure that the two arrows line up. Then screw the adapter in place. Feed the remote sensor through the plastic grommet. Plug in the plug unit and you're done. Thanks for watching.